Hello Exiles and welcome again for part 8 where we are now currently in the Sarn encampment and we're going to run through Act 8 and try and get it through faster than what we did previously. Now if you've only just stumbled across this video I am going to put over the next 60 seconds I will put the video links up here for Act 6, 5 and 4 so you can obviously go back. If you want to go all the way back to Act 1 then you will need to go onto my channel and you can go and find them from there. In terms of the content, if you are enjoying this, throw us a like, throw us a subscribe, throw us a comment, or anything that you want to give me, any feedback, any, any thank yous, whatever it may be, I would appreciate it. And finally, before we crack on, I am going to be streaming live on Twitch this week and next week, so if you do want to follow me, jump onto the link that will be in the description, throw us a follow, and obviously come and join me this week and next week for launch. It would be nice to, uh, to have some company, I don't want to be sat there all on my own. So, let's crack on. So as you came into Act 8, the first thing you do is you enter into the Sarn encampments. Now the first thing I usually do is I usually head in a um, northeast direction until you hit the wall. There is the wall. Now all you want to do with the wall is just hug the wall. That's literally it. So just hug it. All the way until you get to the door for upstairs. So you, if you want to kill stuff in here, you're more than happy to. But if you just want to run through it, just hug the wall. Now in the next couple of seconds, there we go. There's the door, which will then go upstairs. And then again, you then want to follow it across the tops. And again, this is a very linear route. There's no diversions. There's no lefts and rights. It's a case of you literally just follow this until you get to the uh, door, which you will see on your map, which is back here, which is close to where you would have started. And there will then be a ramp that will then go downstairs and then take you back to the sign encampment, which will be for Act 8. Now, in Act 8, first thing you want to do is you want to walk in, go left, and follow it over to the toxic conduits or yeah toxic conduits now there is a little marker that sometimes applies in this zone and i'm just going to test to see if i can see it which i can see it so and we're going to see if it works because it doesn't always work can you see this little like green splodge here on the floor can you see it there this is usually the marker of which way you need to go. So if it's on the bottom, you're going south. If it's on the top, you go north. That is only there 50% of the time. But we're going to go and test it out now. So we're going to follow this. And obviously I'm going to keep on going south. It usually means just keep on going in that direction. So obviously the way that that splodges, it means go in that direction. Now when you get to this bit, I usually then start going in a east of the direction because I know that the doors are always in an east direction and obviously to get out of this zone so I will obviously follow this in this direction until we get to the uh, the broken this kind of mesh here now if you have a flame dash frost blink or dash you can actually dash from this side to this side okay you can literally just go teleport straight through that so you don't have to walk around it it will take save you precious seconds. Then you go to Dodri's cesspool. Now in here, I don't know why, but I always just always go west, and I always just follow it in a west of the direction. So I go south, and then when I can go west again, I'll go west, and I'll just keep following that. As you can see here, we're just going in a straight line. Obviously, we're still going west, still going west. And you'll get to a bit where you're, it will split like this. See how it's split three ways? So there's a path to the left, path to the right, path to the middle. Obviously, path to the middle is for the boss. But as you can see there, straight left, 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 left. Doesn't always do that. Nine times out of ten, it does. Pop the valve, and then you have to then kill Dodri. Now, this is a bit of a damage, a bit of a resistance check. She does a lot of damage. I think she does chaos damage. Um, so chaos res, you might get one shot in this fight. Then go downstairs to the server uh, sewer outlet. Now, now begins the biggest discussion point when I did my videos, which is which way do you go? Do you go left or do you go right? And then after that is where do you go after that? Okay, now 
it's entirely your decision which way you want to go. I'm going to go the way that I'm used to and I've been doing for the last four years. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to obviously talk you through the pathing that I do. If you do it differently, that's fine. There's some people that obviously go through the concourse, the Solaris concourse, and obviously the bridge across and they completely skip out the bathhouse. If you want to do that, that's completely fine. I'm going to do it the way that I know and obviously I'm going to do it via the bathhouse because I know that route okay so first of all I usually go right and follow this round so you get to the door for the key now for the key first thing you want to do is just head in a south direction you are looking stick to the coastline stick to the sea here you are looking for an archway that goes over the, the the edge so when I see it I'll show it you not that not that it looks like that but it's not that it goes off on like a rickety little bridge and it's usually here on the right yeah there it is so there's like a there's like an archway here and a rickety wooden bridge go across it and in this chest you will pick up the ankh of eternity once you've picked that up you will then obviously go back and you then want to go right and you want to follow this and keep on following it in a southerly direction now the the objective area that you need to get to is usually down right at the bottom of the map so it's a case of that you just need to kind of keep going in a southerly direction all the way down to the bottom of the map can take can take a while i think i've took the wrong route there that was going off in a different direction this way this way and this way you will know when you get to the right point because there will be this wall here and you will then have to go to the bottom of the wall and go back up again that is basically meaning that you've gone the right way because that is the dividing point between the zone that you need to get to so you need to go to the resurrection site now in here obviously you will then need to kill Tolman. Obviously Tolman is here, so you would need to activate this room and obviously you would speak to Clarissa. Once you've done that, you would then obviously then leave and come out and you need to go back over to the right hand side. So if you could see where I was going earlier and I said that I'm going off into a different zone here, this is the bit. So it's over to the right here and we're looking for the grain gate, which is the next zone, which should be over here. There we go. Grain gate. Now, in the grain gate, there is certain markers to help you navigate through this zone. So first things first, pick up the waypoint. Now, you want to find the black guards, which will give you a skill point. Now, every single one of these archways that you see in this zone, there is a little marker point. So if you, I don't know whether you can see that, but I, I can just see it. So can you see this like black guards arm here? on the floor where the mouse is and there's a head here yeah i'll move to the left a bit they see this guy here that is basically saying follow that archway so we are going the right way here so we're going to follow this and then we're going to come out the other side there's another one so you when you've come out there's another black guard stood on the outside on the floor here that means that you've come out the right way keep on going you're carrying on looking for these black guards at the doorways so you just keep on looking for those guards now i think i have took a bit of a detour here but we're gonna go and see i'm gonna go right it's not usually this far but sometimes this oh there we go there we go there we go sometimes this zone can be quite big see the black guard here on the floor so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna go through here you're looking to come out into a nice big area like this. Now, can you see the book at the top of the screen here? The book? That is basically where the black guards are going to be stood. So you will need to kill them. These guys here. Once you've killed them, you will then come up with a quest reward that will then say, go and speak to Maramosa in town. Then, if you notice, look, there's another black guard half decapitated on the floor here he also guides you the way out of this zone as well so if you follow that then there is usually another one to the uh, oh here is here there's the path to the right and there you go imperial fields so those black guards will help you navigate through the zone now that we're in the imperial fields you literally just follow the path all the way north 
You can pick up the waypoint if you want, but you're never really going to come back to this zone, so it's entirely up to you. Keep on going, follow the path. Now, when the path ends here, yeah, keep going in the direction that the path was facing. So, this direction, keep going. You will then bump into some lions and some more curtains. Curtains, what I mean by curtains is the ribbon monsters, these dudes here that are like... There's, there was a joke in a video once that you fight the curtains, and they kind of look like curtains, so it's always stuck with me. And you're looking for the Solaris Temple Level 1. Again in here, you can follow the carpet if you want, but it doesn't always work out. So we're going to just follow it here, follow it round. Carry on going north, we'll go east. Sorry, west. There's your waypoint. And then we're going to carry on going. Do you remember when I said about the... Um, do you remember when I said for Act 3, and I said that there's a table in front of the waypoint? And whichever side of the table there is four cups on, that's the direction that you go. So there's four on the top of the, the tray. So that means we're going this way. That is a little marker there to kind of help you in which way you need to go. So I'm going to just go this way, and there's the door for level 2. So the tray of cups helped me there. Then this one, level 2, is a bit of a pain in the ass. But again, it's similar to the zone in, in, that I described in Act 3, where I said that obviously you follow the cur the, follow the, uh, the carpet, and obviously from there, just see where it takes you. The, it is quite a linear path. There's not that many different ways to go there's usually like little sub rooms that it might take you into but they're not usually like massive detours and i know that this is now the right way because there's this really long path here here we go and then you want to get to the portal here you want to kill the sun god so harbinger of solaris pick up the sun orb at this point you then want to then teleport back to town and you now want to go back to the sewers, the toxic um, toxic conduits, and then you then want to go left. Now, if you would rather now go back to the waypoint on level one and head to the Solaris concourse, the reason why I don't do this is because one, you have to then navigate back to the temple, then you have to find the Solaris concourse, then you have to navigate through the Solaris concourse, then you have to navigate through the Harb Bridge, then you have to navigate through the Lunaris concourse, which you're going to have to get to anyway. It just feels a bit, I don't know, a bit rudimentary, a bit, bit basic to me, but a bit, I don't know, it just, it doesn't feel very linear. This, however, is, so we're going to follow this to the bathhouse, so this is for the Grand Promenade. I usually just follow and stick to the, um, the edge here, and just follow the edging. And it will eventually take you to a bridge that will then cross over um, a bunch of water. Once you get to that bit, you're about halfway through. There's the bridge. There's the bridge over the water. So you're about halfway through. Keep following it. You'll get to a point where your your path will be blocked by a like a, a channel of water. When you get to that, you are at the end of the zone. It'll be in about three seconds. One, two, there you are. There's the channel of water. So I can't go over that. So you can you can flame dash across there, but obviously I'm going to run around. And then the bathhouse door is right here. Now in the bathhouse, make sure that you get the waypoint. It's a very important waypoint. In here, what I usually do is I go through the doors into here. Now there is a mini boss here, this guy here, Hector. You can kill him and you don't have to kill him. The amount of people that will come over and pick up these wings of Vastiri, they don't give you anything. They will give you respect points. They don't give you anything else. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Now, the door to the next zone and the labyrinth are both in this room. Now, depending on which side of the room the lab is on, the door for the next zone, sorry, the door for the high gardens 
is on the opposite side. So the lab, as I can see here, is on the left hand side here. Here's your lab. So that means that the door for the high gardens is on the right hand side. So I'm going to go over here and start heading north when I can. There we go. I'm going to follow this and we should get the door. There we go. So look, top left, the bottom of there, we've got the lab, top right, high gardens. Now we need to do the high gardens for the quest point. So the quest point is basically, it's very linear. You literally just follow this path all the way to the end until you get to, I think you get to like some like, um, like archways. There's like three archways that kind of go over some stairs. That is basically the point in which you stop. And that's where the boss is, but you will be able to see the door. So I'm literally just gonna fly through this zone you have to be careful in this zone because there is a lot of porcupines in this area so you might die if you don't have um, any armor uh, or any form of damage mitigation because if you blow an entire pack all the spikes will then explode and try to kill you here's your archways look archway 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 three archways here and then the door in here pools of terror and you have to kill this big blue guy who's called yugo now he is a phased boss, so you do need to hit him once, then he spawns all these mini ones, then he'll come out again, then he runs away again, then he'll spawn a bunch of mini ones again, and then he spawns one last time, and you can then kill him. At this point, you can then teleport back to town. Once you've killed him, teleport back to town, and take the waypoint for the bathhouse. Okay, and then at this point, you now want to navigate through to the Lunaris Concourse. So the Lunaris Concourse is all the way over to the east wall, and then the door will be a little bit south. So we're all the way over to the east, and there's your wall. Lunaris Concourse. This is very similar to the concourse that we came across in Act 3. You literally get to these sets of stairs here, you get the waypoint, and you literally just head in a northwest direction, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Keep going up the stairs. Until you get to this bit here, where it all goes like dark and dark blue. And then you're looking for the doorway for the Nunaris temple. The flooring goes like a dark blue. Now in here, again, you can follow the carpet. It's entirely up to you. It's usually the easiest way to follow it in here is just keep following it. It's very similar to the Lunaris temple in level in Act 3. Again, if you remember from Act 3, I said if you look at the carpet here, it branches off to the left here. That is the way you need to go. So we go left here, follow it. And then go follow, keep following it, and you will then get to the next floor, which will be for floor two of the Lunaris Concourse, which is here. There is always a waypoint, and then go downstairs to the Lunaris Concourse. Now, in Act Three, when I did this video, we spoke about the rope and we spoke about a corpse maybe having something to play in. Now, when we did it, we followed the corpse and we managed to find the exit. It, this follows the exact same policy as the Lun Lunaris Temple Level 2 in Act 3, which is basically when you find the stairs, the stairs are going to be going in the same direction for the other stairs, and so is the door. So I'm going to just go this way. I'm just going to have a hunch and just say that I think it's this way, and we're going to see if I'm right. See, look here. So the stairs are facing in a northeast direction, okay? Keep going in that direction. Unless you can't, then go, pick a direction, left or right, which obviously that was a dead end. And then as soon as you can go back in that northeast direction, go it, go in that direction. Which for me, it may change direction. Sometimes it can do this. Sometimes it can change direction. There you go. So now the direction's changed northwest. 
Now, what it means is now the third set of stairs will either be northwest or northeast. So there are your two directions. So now we've, I'm going to keep going in this direction first till I can't. That's a dead end. Now I'm going to say that it's. Is it this? Is it here? Nope, that's another dead end. So it could be this over here, over there. Yeah. So two that way, one that way. Now, if you remember in Act 3 as well, there was two carts on when you got to the top of the stairs. There was two carts on one side and one cart on the other side. Now, there is no carts in this one. What they are replaced by is vases. Now, if you can see in front of me here, there's two vases with what look like a bunch of flowers and one vase here on the left. There's one with left and one with two. If you remember, I said, always go the side that has one. So we're going to go the side that has one. And that will take you to the door. Now, I'm going to follow this. And again, if you remember when I said, once you find the door, whichever way the door is facing, so this way it's facing northeast, keep going in that direction. And technically the door for the for the boss, to, towards the boss area, should be in the same direction. So we're going to keep going in this direction. I, I love it when I'm right. <laughs> Uh, and then in here, we just look for the door to get out, which is on this side, and then go up the stairs, and then we go and kill the moon god. So we go back in here. Nope, no, don't go back out. Go back in here and go and kill the moon god. Then make sure you kill up, pick up the moon portal, then come out, go back to town. Now, it doesn't really matter whether you've done the Solaris concourse or whatever way you've done it is, if you've gone to the Solaris or the Lunaris, then you obviously want to go back to whichever one you have done. As soon as you get to the Lunaris concourse, I usually go south and go back downstairs and just keep heading in a south direction and you will find the door for the Harbour Bridge. Now, if you need to level maybe one or two, it's up to you, this is a nice area to do it in. But because Bullet Aqueducts is literally the next zone in Act 9, it may be best just to wait. All you're doing here is just follow it in a northwest direction all the way across and you'll notice that it changes from night into day like here and you'll notice everyone's having a full-on scale war. Then you then go into the Sky Shrine, you interact with the lovely statue of Lunaris and Solaris which you can buy from Path of Exile if you really wanted to and then you then kill Lunaris and Solaris who will then obviously try to kill you. Now, they do do quite a lot of damage, so this is sometimes a bit of a DPS check and also a resistance check. So, be prepared to die if you are not ready for this fight. They are multi-phased. Once you've killed them both, though, go out and run to the Blood Aqueducts, which is everyone's favourite zone. And I'm going to run up to the waypoint, and then we will then stop for Act 8. And that is the end of Act 8. Again nice and quick it is a bit of a, a messing around going back and forth left and right but it's just the way the zone is a lot of people hate that act because of how long it takes because you've got to go all the way to the right and then you've got to go all the way to the left yeah I, I i feel you trust me that zone that act does feel like it does feel like the longest when you're going through the first playthrough but it's a fun it's a fun act to do other than that, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Obviously, if you want to now jump into Act 9's video, if it's done, I will put the link up there so you can watch it. If not, um, then I'll see you tomorrow when I do it. And thank you for watching, and stay sane.